Yes, Mr. Speaker, we have two floor presentations today. The first is House Resolution Number 64, recognizing the outstanding entertainers of the Hawaiian Room in New York City. This resolution is offered by Representative Brower. Thank you. Representative Brower? Mr. Speaker, I move for the adoption of the resolution. Thank you. Representative Chief? Mr. Speaker, I second the motion. It's been moved and seconded that the resolution be adopted. Any discussion? Representative Brower? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I would like to first thank both the Speaker of the House and Speaker Emeritus for the privilege of serving as the Chair of the Tourism Committee since 2011. Members and guests, we're getting back to our Hawaiian music roots and going old school today because this past year marked the 75th anniversary of the opening of the Hawaiian Room at the Lexington Hotel in New York City. Its 30-year run began in 1937 during a U.S. recession with 19% unemployment and ended the year after I was born in 1966. Considered the first and longest running Polynesian restaurant venue in the country, the Hawaiian Room gained national recognition for its sensational performances by Hawaii entertainers, ancient hula, and kuka kuka cultural exchanges between exotic Hawaiian islands and America's most symbolic island, Manhattan, both with a similar indigenous history. The Hawaiian Room received rave reviews as an off-Broadway play that brought the islands to the world, since television wasn't invented yet. The Lexington Hotel became a gathering place for Hawaii expats, a place to be seen as celebrities like Henry Fonda, Johnny Carson, Sidney Poitier, Barbara Streisand, Tony Bennett, and many others attended. It was so successful, it created a wave of imitation South Seas bars and restaurants with tiki, tapa, and bamboo that swept across the country in the 50s and 60s. Many young Hawaiians from Kalihi, neighbor islands, and others with South Pacific roots brought the performances to life while having an adventure as Aloha's mid-century ambassadors. The best of the best, many now in the Hawaii Music Hall of Fame, including Hilo Taro factory worker Ray Kinney, who appeared on the first Hawaii Calls radio show and the first Hawaiian to be in a major Broadway play entitled Hell's a Poppin'. Waipahu teacher Clara Hailey Inter, who performed as Hilo Hattie, baritone singer and Hapahaole music pioneer Alfred Apaka, Mahi Beamer, a tenor falsetto and considered by many in Hawaii as a living treasure. Others, like Amy Hanai Ali'i Gilliam's tutu, Napua Woods, one of the original Royal Hawaiian Girls. Slack key master, Keola Beamer, who wrote Honolulu City Lights. Kui Lee, who wrote I'll Remember You for Don Ho and Elvis Presley. Momi Kai, the first hula dancer with legendary American entertainer, Arthur Godfrey. And one of my personal favorites, orchestra leader, Johnny Pineapple. YouTube his song, Pretty Mermaid of the Southern Sea. The Aloha Maids and many who are affectionately referred to as the ex lexes young hula dancers, some in their teens as they began as Hawaii's tourism bridge builders, are with us today. Please stand briefly when you hear your name. Members, please hold your applause. Lealoha Kalekini, whose family has lived in Kapahulu for five generations on Esther Street, which is named for her mother. She danced hula all over the world and continues to hula regularly at the Elks Club. Manu Kanemura Bentley, a Sacred Hearts Academy graduate, was a widely admired and featured solo dancer who produced shows in Waikiki and New York. Leonani Akau Hagen, a dancer, choreographer, and Roosevelt High School graduate, upon her return to Hawaii, she danced at the Polynesian Arcade at the Reef. Te Moana Makolo, a Farrington High School graduate who led the effort with the Hula Preservation Society to share the Lexington Hotel's Hawaii legacy with today's generation. Kaui Virginiza Santana danced at the Princess Kaolani Hotel where she had previously gone for her high school prom. Kaui is a Lelehua High School graduate. Members, may we please recognize these living treasures. Mr. Speaker, may I defer to an entertainer in her own right who redefined the talent portion of the Miss Hawaii pageant, the representative from Wailua. Thank you, Representative. Representative Chief. 
Thank you. We'd also like to recognize members of the group who are in the gallery. As I call your name, please remain standing, and members, please hold your applause. A big mahalo to Keone May, to Miley Liu, who is the co-founder of the Hula Preservation Society, Linda Dela Cruz, a producer and reporter for 16 years for helping put this presentation together. Members, may we recognize our guests. And though Tutasi Wilson, the matriarch, is not here, we're, we want to wish her a very happy birthday. She turned 99 years old last week. So I think she deserves a round of applause as well. <laughs> Today's talented kupuna will help the late Alfred Apaka celebrate his 94th birthday on Sunday at the Hilton Hawaiian Village to honor him and remember the legacy of where he and many of today's icons performed, the Hawaiian Room. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Representative.